into your general love reading for May 18th of 2022. It's beautiful. I hope it's beautiful where you are today. Uh, it's very bright and shiny here. So I hope it's bright and shiny for all of you guys. Okay. And if not, you can still make the best of the day. You know what I mean? Try not to let the weather depict your mood because that affects a lot of people. I still be happy when it's raining outside. Okay, and there's still sunny days where I get a little down. You get what I'm saying? Um, so I don't know, somebody needed to hear that. But other than that, I hope you're doing well. Um, if you want to inquire about a personal reading, check out the description box. All that information is there, as well as all of my social media information. And if you want to become a member of this channel, there's a link that will take you to the membership page. Shout out to all the members. I love you all. You guys are awesome. And... Uh, if you want to purchase the extended reading for this read, the link will also be in the description box. It will take you over to Vimeo, okay? Don't forget to like the video, you guys, especially if the video resonates. Leave me a comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. So I was excited last night. Let me talk to my Pisces. I don't normally talk to y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I was excited last night. I went live. I don't know if y'all was there. But I hit, the, I hit 300 people. I was like, wow, I feel special. You know what I mean? I'm like, yeah, I don't, my lives usually be like around a hundred. Sometimes I've seen two, but last night it was, it was, and I went on pretty late last night. So I was surprised. I'm like, oh, okay. All right, cool. I thought there was going to be nobody on. People had to go to work in the morning, go with their kids. I said, okay, y'all surprised me last night. I felt special. So we hit over 300. So I was excited about that. Um, so I'm definitely going to be doing more lives. I feel like you guys really connect with those. And I like talking to you throughout them. It's it's very fun. Okay. So, um, you know, to have that interaction with you live, you know, not through a comment or, you know, social media, like an Instagram, app, you know, some shit like that. Anyway, what's going on with you Pisces in love? Let's see. I'm talking enough, right? Oh boy. Eight of cups in reverse three of cups okay oh boy you all up in your feeling uh, nothing in my feeling page of pentacles in reverse okay some of you dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn ten of wands in reverse i was falling in love one more card please for what's going on with pisces in love you know i got pisces in my chart I was like, I got Pisces in my chart. I felt special. But I don't have cancer. Mm -mm, I don't have any cancer in my chart. Scorpio. So I got all that water. Um, Empress is the overall energy. That's a good card. That's a good card. Um, so a lot of you, if you're mothers, you're in your mother energy, taking care of your kids. Even if you're a male, you could be in the, in the energy of taking care of your children or just taking care of yourself, okay? Even if you don't have any kids, male or female, taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, knowing your worth. Um, you're in a period of abundance and growth right now. So that's awesome, okay? Um, that is actually the only major arcana card here. All these cards here that are on the foundation here are all minor arcana. So this energy shows me that I'm proud of you and you're in your... Um, in the choices that you've been making in love I'm proud of you I see a lot of you have um, lifted some type of weight that you had on your shoulders in regards to this person or somebody here in love okay you could have been putting in an extraordinary amount of effort or work trying to make something you know come together and it just wasn't getting anywhere and it was doing nothing but leaving you stressed and let, you know leaving you feeling drained and some of you could have just decided, okay, no, okay. Three of Cups is here. That's good. So I see you socializing. I see you mingling. There is somebody here I can't ignore that's in the middle of your spread. And it could be somebody, there could be an age difference because you're coming up as the Empress, whether you're male or female, and this person's coming up as a page. Okay, so if they're not younger than you, they're, there's an immaturity. Sorry, Crosswatcher, I got to keep it real. Okay, Two of Swords is about a decision, trying to connect to your intuition and your logic to make a decision. And you got the Four of Swords. So that's like a chilling period. Rest, relaxation. It's also a, a time of contemplation, especially next to the Two of Swords. So it seems like there's something, there's some, there's some type of decision you're trying to make. 
The Eight of Cups is in reverse. I can't ignore that because we all know that's about not being able to walk away from something or just some type of stagnant energy. Okay, is there something you need to walk away from? Okay, Three of Cups is here. I'm, I'm not crazy about Three of Cups in a love reading. I mean, it's a good card to get because it shows unity, friendship, you know, but you I, I feel like you want more than that. Three of Cups could be friends with benefits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, hello, we want more. So let's um let's go ahead and look individually here. Can't you see? Every time we're down, you could make it right. I'm on my Backstreet Boys shit, yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the Backstreet Boys. I went through that boy band phase. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. NSYNC, Backstreet Boys. I was never crazy about 98 Degrees like that. They had a few songs that I liked, though. But not like I didn't have a crush on any of the members or anything. NSYNC, I used to like Lance. I know. I liked Lance because everybody liked Justin. And I was annoyed. And I had to be a Scorpio and be different. So then I was like, I started like falling off from Lance. And I started like really wanting Justin more. And I was like, ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And in Backstreet Boys, I wanted Nick. Nick, that was like my first real white boy crush. Nick Carter from the Backstreet Boys. Blonde hair, fucking. Ooh, I was in love with some Nick. Mm. Okay. But nobody topped Dan from O Town. O Town was my biggest boy band obsession. I. Went to see Old Town numerous times. I met them a few times. Yeah. Yeah. So, Dan from Old Town was who I thought I was going to marry. Oh, 16-year-old me. Not even. I was like, how old? Yeah, 15, 16. I was young. Anyway, back to your reading. <laughs> I just gave you all a little piece of my information about me. Okay. How do you feel about this person, Pisces? How do you feel about Y'all know I like to talk to y'all in my reads. I don't want to be dry, you know, like Pisces. How you feel? Temperance. Okay. Sagittarian energy. Page of Pentacles. All right. So now we're seeing it upright. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy there. Um, oh, Ace of Cups in reverse. That worries me. Wow, you're pretty stressed about this too, Nine of Swords. But I feel like overall you're okay because you got the Temperance card. I feel like this is somebody you've been real patient with. Like you've, but there's something going on with the feelings here with the Ace of Cups in reverse. Let's see. And I do see something about you in your sleep, Nine of Swords or your thoughts. But I feel like your the major Arcana card here is Temperance. So I feel like. You're handling that okay. How does this person feel about you, Pisces? Let's see. Eight of Pentacles. Wow. Okay. Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. King of Cups in reverse. Six of Cups. Okay, so this person... Lovers here on the bottom. Oh my God. Gemini energy. Wow. Okay. Somebody's holding back emotionally here. I don't know if this is you or this is them. I do see you taking a more practical approach with the page of pentacles and the temperance is like, I'm just trying to like, you know, temperance represents patience. So it can mean you're not rushing. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But your person, Eight of Pentacles, they feel like they're putting in effort. They feel like they're putting in work towards this. But I see the emotional detachment. Some of you are dealing with a water sign, another water sign. It could be another Pisces. It could be a Cancer, Scorpio. And then you've also got Sagittarius here and you've got 
Gemini and you've got Taurus Virgo um, Capricorn a lot of different signs but I see a soul bond they have with you some of you this could be somebody from your past here okay yeah but there's something with somebody not releasing emotions it's water energy so I'm not sure if it's you because your person feels like they're putting in effort I feel like they're focused on you let's clarify these clarify all right Pisces whoa what the hell all those just popped out the world the seven of swords the ace of wands the ten of pentacles wow whoa some type of cycle being closed out and a new one beginning but I see some type of deception or something Some type of sneakiness with the seven of swords. Some hidden shit going on. Let's see the temperance. Wow. Pisces. Your shit juicy. Clarify this temperance card, please, universe. Thank you so much, please. Okay. We got the page of wands with the knight of wands. Wow. King of cups in reverse. Yeah, I think it's you. I really feel like it's you. I feel like it's you that's just like, hold on. Let me just you know my emotions let me just kind of just chill right now you know but there's a lot of fire here you're a water sign but look at all this fire some of you are dealing with a fire sign aries leo sagittarius there's some type of communication you get or messaging that's going on here with the page of wands knight of wands it could be somebody's coming like straight at you dude <laughs> it could be somebody's coming straight at you some of you it could be somebody younger than you okay but they're coming straight at you and you're just like, let me slow my roll. Let me not get my emotions all caught up. Page of Pentacles. More practical. The Nine of Cups with the Devil in Reverse. Okay. Capricorn energy there. Yeah. You're not trying to get caught up in no stupid situation over some... You know what I mean? Because you wanted some quick pleasure or, you know what I mean? You're trying to feel good. Like, you're really trying to make sure, we're, you know, what you're focused on and what's going to make you happy is not toxic and not going to get you caught up in nothing that's toxic or get you caught up in anything that's unhealthy. That's what I'm getting. Okay, no matter how good something may look or good someone may make you feel, okay, you still are... Like, no, I'm still, I'm trying to go about this in a logical, you know what I mean? Not logical, but more practical matter with the Page of Pentacles. But it has your attention. Definitely has your attention. Let me see the Ace of Cups in reverse. Because whoever this is that's coming at you, they got a lot of passion for you. Queen of Cups in reverse and the Four, yeah, Four of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you're not opening up that, that you're not offering that cup yet to this person you're not you're taking your time whoever this is and it has nothing to do with other people i see you focus on this person but queen of cups in reverse for you've been hurt before in the past you've opened up emotionally before in the past and it's caused you to some of you kind of get on edge in a negative way you don't want that shit no more okay some of you have even lashed out, got revenge, you know. You're very emotional. You're very fragile, okay? So you want to make sure that when you do open up to somebody, they're worth it. But right now, I see you just closed off emotionally. I see you taking your time. No matter how attractive this person is, because this person is giving off a lot of attraction from your end. Let me see. Why you got the nine of swords? There's some fear here. There's some trust issues here yep yeah because you don't want a page of swords here yeah you guard it some of you spying on this person doing your work checking up on them no but i get it because you want to make sure you're not blindsided you want to make sure you're not blindsided you've been in situations with people that weren't stable before Okay, you want, I get it. King of Pentacles in reverse. 
Let's see your person here. Why is this person pulling the eight of pentacles? Five of wands with the three of cups. Oh, they feel like you fighting and you resisting. You you may be you may be resisting, but they they it's like they determine, like they like, nah. Mm-hmm. To be around you. There's that three of cups again. Okay. Let me see the six of cups. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. This person is, 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 it is, they feel something for you. I'm not gonna lie. There is a connection here, but I do see a lot of sexual energy. And I feel like that's what a lot of you are concerned about. A lot of you are like, okay, no, because if I let my feelings go, da, 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 I may get myself involved, may drop the pants, whatever. <laughs> let me see the king of cups in reverse this person can feel your energy too the knight of swords they're like can we please get with this shit justice in reverse mm -mm. they feel like you're not being fair about it or something they feel like you being cold pisces let me see this seven of cups in reverse they feel like you being cold Oh, you feel like this person ain't doing a your person feel like you ain't doing a goddamn thing. Knight of Pentacles in reverse with the three of pentacles in reverse. <laughs> What's on the bottom here? The Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot, and the Three of Wands in reverse. Yeah. There's some disappointment here too. I feel like it's from coming from your person. Some of you dealing with a cancer, mm. but I see a nurturing type energy coming from your person. I feel like they really, they want this. Um, even though they feel like you are pulling back, they can just feel it. They can just feel it. And for some of you, they may feel some type of way. Like, why are you, why are you acting that way? Yeah. Uh, All right, let's look for another deck. I don't know why my readings are getting longer lately. I'm like, am I talking too much now? I don't know. I don't know. They've been hitting like almost 30 minutes. Like the last few readings that I've done has been like, I'm like, damn. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's good for you guys, but I'm like, yo. Yeah. I don't know how some people do readings and it'd be like eight minutes. I'm like, I cannot... <laughs> no, excuse me. Ooh, excuse me. I cannot do... I mean, I could, but I just feel like it's going to be rushed. Like, I feel like there's so many messages, and I don't want to miss anything. So, eight minutes is like a motherfucking introduction. All right. Let's see. How does Pisces feel about this person? The King of Swords in reverse. With the page of cups in reverse. Ooh. I don't know who this is, if this is you or them, but but just make sure, Pisces, that you're going about. Cause what this might be for some of you is this might be somebody trying to if it's a new person, it's like they're trying to break your exterior, like they're trying to like get they're trying to connect with you. I'm not gonna lie, it feels very sexual. It doesn't feel like this is somebody that's trying to have a family with you or get married to you i don't know how new this is it feels more passion based which is okay that's not a bad thing because I, I just see how hard this person wants you um so if it's a new person you're just kind of like hold on you know what i mean um but for some of you it may be a good thing like just make sure you're being because the page of cups is in reverse that's your energy so just make sure you're being emotionally mature about it and you're just not you know, doing something based off of emotional immaturity. You know what I mean? Like, if this person didn't give you no reason to kind of act that way, don't do it. And if they did give you a reason, you need to let them know why, you know, you're acting the way you are if you, you know, are kind of pulling back a bit. How else do you feel about this person, Pisces? 
The Nine of Cups. There goes that pleasure card again. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, so now I'm getting a little bit more information. So you may be concerned as to whether this person wants a relationship or not. Or wants something solid or even to build to something solid. Five of Cups in reverse. And you're also still healing from some past shit. Why are you seeing this person as the King of Swords in reverse? The Four of Swords. So you and this person could possibly be on break right now or not talking right now. There could be some quietness right now between you and them. Some silence. Show me more about this King of Swords in reverse. I don't know if this is you or this is them. Eight of Cups in reverse. So it's not that this person is walking away. There just might be some quietness between you and them why the four of wands in reverse why are you pulling the four of wands in reverse ace of pentacles in reverse yeah this is about stability five of swords uh oh this is about stability like you want to make sure you don't get hurt in the end you want to make sure you're not wasting your time you want to make sure that this, it seems like, yeah, that's what it seemed like. How does this person feel about you? The devil. Oh, yeah. There's a lot. I told you it's a lot of sexual energy. It could be a Capricorn you're dealing with Pisces. It told you it's a lot of sexual energy. Why is the devil here? The six of cups. Is this somebody from your past? Temperance is here in reverse. Sagittarian energy. Mm. Show me more. How, how else does this person feel about Pisces? Two of Cups in reverse. Mm. There's that cup card again in reverse. But there were... So something about them trying to work on strengthening this connection between you and them or building a connection. Because right now it seems like either you don't have one but I, we, we saw the lovers earlier, though. So there is something here. It was on their side, though. There is something here. But the lovers also represents a choice in love. But the two of cups in reverse. So either, either it's, it's trying to, it's like your person's trying to work on a connection. Why is the two of cups in reverse? It's like they're trying to work on this connection. Either strengthening it, the lovers. You see? See? Because there's something there, but... the something could have happened there could have been something that caused some type of obstacles some type of delays between you and this person with the chariot in reverse could be a cancer you're dealing with but the, the, the bond is still strong but two of cups in reverse something took some hits some damages to this connection between you and this person some of you this is a past person devil is here i don't know about that devil energy Show me more. How does this person feel about Pisces? Some of you, it's a Gemini. The Knight of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Wands in reverse. This person needs to just calm down. <laughs> like, they need to just calm down. Yeah, look, Eight of Pentacles again. Like, something about them just really trying, like, it's too hard. Why is the Knight of Swords in reverse? Your person is also very impulsive. The Knight of Cups. Some type of love offer they're going to make to you. If they haven't already. I don't know. Some of you may have rejected it. Yeah, this. Oh, my God. This person spies on you. Page of Swords. You definitely got some type of communication. Like if there's been silence, I see y'all breaking that judgment. Okay, a lot of self. A lot of your person is definitely realizing a lot of things. So if this is a past person. I see growth. I don't like that the devil card is upright. But I do see some type of growth, Pisces, within this person. Like, they're trying. They are. That's one thing I'm saying. They are trying. So if this is somebody new that's really trying to crack your exterior, they feel like they're really trying. They're putting in a lot of work and trying hard to get you. I don't know what the what it is they want, though. Do they just want, is it a sexual thing? Or do they want you forever? You know what I mean? Like, what do they want? What is their... What is the intent behind their drive towards you? Because they're very interested in you. Page of Swords. 
Mm-hmm. And if it's an if it's a new person, I mean, they feel strongly already with the six of cups. There's something there. Okay, um, but for some of you, maybe it is somebody you have history with with the six of cups. Okay. And I see you, you're just kind of like, mm, it feels so good. But mm, part of me is like, mm -mm, you know. All right, let's go into the extended now. All right, um, something's telling me to pull some hidden messages, though, for you. Let's pull those and we'll reveal them in the extended. But make sure you guys hit that like button, especially if you resonated with this reading. Leave me a comment. Go ahead and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Um, and share the video if you feel like it. Um, the extended reading link is below in the description box if you guys want to join me over there. So in the extended, I'll go ahead and look at your person's future actions. See what actions they'll be taking moving forward towards you. And then we'll also go ahead and pull you some advice using Oracle cards. Okay. And then of course, whatever else comes out in the tarot for you. All right. Hidden love messages from this person to you. Spirit said to pull two. So let's pull two. That's one. Okay. Ooh, that one felt kind of bouncy, bouncy. Okay. There we go. All right. So those are your two hidden love messages. We'll look at those in the extended. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share. I'll talk to you guys in the extended. If not, see you next time. Bye.